Hey guys, in my basic Pro AV Concepts video, I went over audio and video systems connected to a control system. So I would like to go more in depth on control systems, what their functions are, and the types of control systems that are common in Pro AV. First of all, let's go over the definition of an AV control system. An AV control system is a device that connects all different types of AV equipment in a space or setting together. The same way the AV matrix routers route AV signals, control systems route control analog and digital signals to both analog and digital devices in the AV system. The control system is also where the programming of the system is located. This programming has the instructions on what needs to occur when certain analog or digital states are engaged or detected in the AV system. Let's go over a simple example in a conference room. You may engage the projector screen to drop manually using the touch panel or you may just have a program running that automatically drops the projector screen once the projector is selected on the touch panel or as soon as a meeting is scheduled to begin. All of this logic lives in the control processor. A decade ago, most conference rooms needed an AV technician to manually perform all these tasks that are now automated by control system programming. Control systems don't need to include all aspects of the space, but has the ability to interface and communicate with other analog or digital systems. In commercial environments, many lighting and shading systems are handled by different manufacturers but commercial AV processors can handle the interoperability. Here are some of the popular control ports on AV control processors. COM ports. They're responsible for device control and operation or on-off operation of devices in a pro AV system. IR ports. They're responsible for operating electronic equipment in a pro AV system using light signals in the infrared range hence IR, using line of sight like most TV remotes. Relay port. Like the projector shade being engaged in my earlier example in the video, that shade is usually wired to the relay port of the control system and through that connection control communication is achieved. And sometimes general purpose input output or Crestnet ports in form of Phoenix blocks but we won't cover that in this video. Ethernet port. A LAN or control subnet or AV LAN Ethernet port can be used for communication between transmitters and receivers, the DSP, the lighting system, the HVAC system, or any other systems that allow TCP IP connections using unsecured Telnet, secured SSH, or to other proprietary ports defined by equipment manufacturers. One of the most popular manufacturers for AV control equipment is Crestron, and that is why I mention them quite often in my videos. I am not being sponsored by Crestron. However, let's go over some of the Crestron Pro AV control processor types and where you would usually run into them. Crestron RMC4 with basic features such as a COM port, the LAN PoE port, IR, Relay, and Crestnet port would usually be found in an office, a huddle room, or a small conference room. Crestron DMPS 34K 300C includes the features from the RMC4 but also has the additional IO port types and audio DSP with an AV matrix combined in one unit and it's usually found in medium sized conference rooms. Crestron AV4 or Pro4 control processors are independent of the audio DSP and AV matrix, but includes all of the serial port types of the DMPS3 control processor, with additional IO per port type for a large space with more devices to control and are usually found in large conference rooms, boardrooms, or divisible rooms. If you're interested in programming Pro AV systems, you may want to choose the control processor manufacturer you would like to program devices for and take their programming courses. I'll leave some links in the description. In a future video, I'll go over touch panels, which are the main devices used in an AV system that allows us to manually interact and take control of the AV system. Like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to request video topics.